mental focus develops coordination. So this causes a temporary sensory overload. And this results in your brain adapting. It's like working out. Training your brain is like working out a muscle. Temporary discomfort, overwork, overload. Your brain gets stronger. Your muscles get stronger, tougher. You can handle more. Hence, mental toughness. So, for example, playing chess, it increases the speed your brain processes information coming to it. And you can react better in a shorter amount of time. Chess also develops speed of methodical planning and logical thinking. The next way you can train your brain is to travel. Go, go out, go out somewhere, learn a new language, visit a new country, see new stuff, learn new cultures. That broadens your view of the world. And it just gives you more insight into your life. Next is read a book. When I was younger, I never, I I hated reading. I, I, I could never, ever read. No way. No way I could read. Not a single book was read since I started school till I was maybe 15, 16 years old. Since I was 16, found fitness, found self-development. I have read about a book a week ever since. So go read. The more stimulating the topic, the more engaging the book. That promotes higher brain activity. Higher brain activity develops brain health, mental growth. Your brain sort of works on the use it or lose it principle. So the more you use your brain, the more you are able to absorb new information and use it to the best of your ability when the situation in life calls for it. Reading also increases your vocabulary. Vocabulary, a bigger vocabulary, means bigger memory storage. Memory storage means you're a little bit smarter and you can do more things, learn more things, be more sure of yourself. See, mental toughness is actually all about the way you think and how sure of your thinking you are. It's that simple. If you're sure of your thinking and you think a lot and you have the capacity to learn new stuff, you've got it. You've got mental toughness and and that carries through into everything you do. Last but not least is please, please, please don't lose your imagination. Be mindful. Be aware of your surroundings. Think beyond the norm. Allow yourself to get that childlike wonder back. You know, draw, create. Let your imagination go wild. Don't think, oh, this will never work in a lifetime. Just allow your imagination to take off. Who would know that would be a next new business idea you have. You take, in the in today's routine world, regularity is taken for granted and we become complacent. We're like, oh, I wake up, I have breakfast, I go to work and da, 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 da. It's, all, it's all the same dull routine. So have some imagination, have some fun. Lastly is be in the moment. So in the moment means sort of you sit down in the morning, you have your coffee. Or you sit down in the evening and have your dinner. Enjoy that dinner. Don't let your mind wander. Right? Allow yourself to stay grounded. Be in the moment. Enjoy the time with your family. Don't think about anything else. That just keeps a healthy mind. Doing that allows you to experience the world fully and appreciate the time you have with your friends and family 100%. So guys, I hope you have gained some insight on mental toughness and forging a titan mind when I say it in my posts on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Forging titan mind encompasses many, many different aspects of mindset, mental health, training the brain. And I've covered some of these topics in today's episode. I hope you guys have learned a lot in this series on the art of progress. Stay tuned for the next episode, which will be exciting because I have a guest on the show. He will be sharing his views on a couple of topics. That would be a surprise you would have to watch out for. Go out and enjoy the rest of your day or night, whatever time zone you are at. Start now. Start developing your mental toughness right now. 
there's no reason not to. Go listen to the Art of Progress series, take down notes, and start applying those techniques into your everyday life, and you will see great, great lifestyle result improvements. I hope you guys have enjoyed the final episode of the Art of Progress series. I will see you in the next episode. This is Dominic for Forging Titans. See you in the next episode. Have a good day. Thank you for listening. For more, subscribe to the Forging Titans podcast.